out of all the frameworks which exist on the web today react is probably the most popular choice and used choice as well out there by small projects to startups to big companies alike consequently there have been a lot of solutions built on top of react which try to solve all the existing problems of react one of the most popular ones which you know is nextjs and we have another popular player in the team now which is called as remix framework now the reason i'm trying to build this create this video is because i do feel that remix is not another yet another javascript framework or react framework remix has been created by some of the most experienced people in react and they have used a lot of older web as well and they know a lot about the internals of http as well if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so if you go to remix.run right now you would see that they are going to open source it in the remix 1.0 version very soon it's not open source you still have to buy a license which costs a lot but yeah they have like suspended that page now where you could buy a license i guess because they have raised a small funding amount as well as they are now open sourcing it putting it under MIT license right it has been in works for a long time but what remix does if I had to summarize this in one line is that it combines best practices which already exist in the browser with the newer framework and the newer library concept like react for providing a smooth developer experience while at the same time sticking to some of the best native integration and native practices which browser gives you now one very simple example of this best practice if you're confused is let's talk about out, you want to create an input field you know you have just written some text and you hit enter something happens with that text right that goes to a backend server or anything now your first instinct would be to attach an on key down event on input and look for an enter sort of combination e dot key code is 13 and if that is true then you run a function which is fine but the browsers already support submit event in forms right that means when you are writing something in an input text which is a child of a form and you hit enter that forms on submit would automatically be calculated so this is like a small example of what browser already provides but what we have more or less conditioned ourselves to do with javascript so if we take a look at remix run docs although we cannot really install it right now but you would still get the idea that a lot of things remix actually combines from the older php style and you know having all those forms and everything so if we take a look at for example we don't have a lot of uh, you know documentation available right now as well but if you take a look at this data mutations with actions you will see that we have a lot of information about forms and url parameters and actions and basically the old school stuff right which you probably would not really find a lot being used right now these days with the modern websites most websites just slap a on click on create or maybe like on submit this and that but here you are actually using action I, I'm, I'm sure like a lot of people would not even know what an action is here action is used to submit forms natively with html that means you can really send a request to backend without using any javascript at all and on the back end you can see if you're using remix framework you just grab that body and process something with it and redirect it to some other page right and all of this if you think about it would not really need a lot of javascript on the front end right so even though you're writing all of your code in react it gets built it gets compiled down to just html and you can technically just use html pages right you can do a fairly static export of that and use it with a real backend now the advantage of this is that you just have to add a very small layer of javascript interactivity to make it transition smoothly from one page to another so obviously you don't want a loading icon in your browser every single time when you click on a link you want it to happen like modern website and modern web apps operate so that is also provided by remix run but we will discuss a lot more about remix run when it comes out as an open source library open source framework but for now fundamentally speaking it would have some core philosophy difference compared to nextjs how it operates how it is different i'm excited to try out all the inbuilt functionality which remix also provides but this would be a really really interesting framework to build new projects in one another example you can see how it would differ from nextjs is it really really wants to follow the traditional server client model 
where instead of generating pages with static site generation, that is SSG, Remix tries to take the traditional approach where it does data fetching somehow using a browser environment or let's see how it does that. But it does it somehow and does it on runtime, right? Instead of build time. What advantage does it give you? Well, you see, it gives you the ability to control the data validation or data invalidation through HTTP caching headers instead of doing a static site generation and using CDNs, right? So this will, this is one area where I think Remix would be very different from Next.js that will not support something like static site generation at all. It will instead go the HTTP caching through headers route. And like I said, Remix loves the browser standards and what the browsers do. And it believes like a lot of things can be done right from your browser's inbuilt APIs instead of using JavaScript for everything. So prefetching and using the native HTML tags, for example, and using the native techniques of caching and invalidations and CDN and headers and stuff like that. I think that is what Remix is all about. So if you're somebody who loves HTTP and the old days of working with the frameworks, at the same time you like the modern way of approaching problems and you know component level stuff and organizing your files like a react fanboy would do that i think remix would be a really interesting choice for you in that case and by the way remix is built by the same people who created react router so react router is probably the most popular router available for react so you know you're in good hands that's that's for sure and i think it's just in time that next year's has got a newer player in the market which would just promote a little bit of competitive behavior which is as we all know good for us because eventually the research and the feature enhancement and whatever goes that benefits the developers the consumers at the end of the day so i'm gonna review remix completely when it comes out as open source mit license but that is all for this video let me know in the comments below what you think do you like a framework like this which is built on top of http and the oldest standards and the solid ones layered on top of with react and the real modern stuff or would you still prefer next.js and if yes to any one of those why is that the reason let me know in the comments below that is all for this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching